Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pseudos Crochet and More. This is your host Crystal. Today is the second part of the walkthrough at the New River Art and Fiber located in Blacksburg, Virginia. Today I'm going over the cotton blended yarns. This here, um, I did, this is a short one here. This is all the flax uh, and cotton blends. So the first one is the Fibra Natra Flax, and I do believe this was actually 100% flax, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to get the label so you guys can see it. Uh, let's see, where was it listed? It's listed on there somewhere. I think it's 100% flax for the yarn. It was interesting. Oh no, I'm sorry, 100% linen. Linen. It's a three weight. This is by Universal Yarns, made in Turkey. And then I think I dropped it or something. There was a couple different ones that were over there. This one is hand painted pure linen. I'm not even gonna butcher the name of the yarn company. Yeah, it's 100% linen as well. I don't think that was the color Anastasia. It's pretty color. Now, some so in this section, I will be showing you guys some of the things that were on top of these little cubbies here that are not actually yarn, but they're accessories. Next to it, that we have some Universal and. Schockemeyer, Schockemeyer, I don't know. I think that was a sock yarn, but because it had cotton in it, it was over here because they keep their all their cotton and cotton blended yarns together. And I think I show you the Schock, yeah, Schockemeyer. Regia, Regia, Cotton, Tutti Frutti. Those are some cool colors. I did not see, I don't think I found an actual um, size of the yarn on this one, but I'm thinking it's at least a two, maybe a three weight yarn. Because it does, it is recommended for socks, so. And then this was the Universal Yarns, Magnolia. The super fine model cashmere blend. That was pretty soft, actually. As we know, all oh, excuse me, I'm yawning here. As we all know, that um, all Universal Premier and Premier yarns are made in Turkey. I don't think I've ever seen any of their yarns without that being on their made in turkey and then they had the unique yarns this was their mercerized cotton dk weight Ooh, hard to be i am recording this on april 11th um at about 6 30 in the morning so I do apologize for any yawning that you might hear. I'm not bored. I'm just still waking up. All right. And then they had the Elizabeth Lavalod Hempathy. And some of the colors were $7. Uh, that blue was 7 And there was a red and a purple. Yeah, the red there and that like magenta color were $7. And then we have the Universal Bamboo Pop, which I was going to get some of this, but I didn't see the color that I would like to have gotten, so I didn't get any of this. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I should get some of it to try it out, but I have not yet. They consider that a three weight, but it's really thin. It's a 50% cotton, 50% bamboo blend it's a lightweight three i'm thinking that's closer to a two but then again 
It might be a three. Just a fine three. There is one here that does contain wool, which is the one that's underneath, that was underneath of the uh, bamboo pop. And that was nice of them that they let people know that, you know, hey, this contains wool just in case you're allergic to it type of thing. This is the fiber company, Luma Threads of Sunlight. I think I was trying to find the information for you guys here. Yeah. And it was ha I was having a hard time keeping it open and holding the phone, so I do apologize for missing any information. So it's a 50% wool, 25% cotton, 15% linen, and 10% silk. Made in Peru. I don't know where the washing instructions were at. It might have been on that top part or on the back. And this Katia yarn, the fair cotton, was right next to the Hempathy. And that was actually really soft cotton. It says it was organic. Yeah, organic, 100% organic. hundred and seventy yards and this oh excuse me again this was under this was under this was on top of the other side of that those little cubby things and it's mud they're like uh, holders for needles crochet hooks your notions. I was trying to find the information. I probably missed it on the uh, t other tag there. I couldn't figure out what that was used for. There was nothing that didn't open and it might have been part of that what I just am opening now, which is where you can see that you can put your um, needles and crochet hooks inside of. They had quite a bit of the mud uh, branded organizers for scissor keepers and rulers and your stitch markers and your knitting needles or like I said, crochet hooks interchangeable needles that's what that was that was for interchangeable needles then they had little just bags random bags that you could use for carrying around your Ooh. notions and hooks and needles and then of course underneath was cascade yarns anchor baby which it did let you know that there was there's wool because this is a wool and cotton blend very soft it was nice that they did also have like little swatch samples and some of them were crocheted some of them were knitted so that was nice that they had an option for you to see it both ways not just knitted I do get um, on tomorrow's video, you will, you will be seeing this at 9 o'clock today because I'm getting it done early. Um, tomorrow's video, will sh you'll see, they had like a little, a big ring, one of those rings that you can uh, put stuff on um, that was full of different samples that people had done up so you could feel how it, the yarn is once it's worked up. All right, and then they had Barocco or Barocco Pima Soft. I still like that. I just don't know if I want to spend the $16 for one, knowing that I need more than one to make possibly even a hat because I crochet. It takes more yarn. 
I mean, you could also make a garment out of it. It's, it's, I think it's garment worthy. I don't think you'd want to make anything for the kitchen with it. Unless you're making like placemats or something like that, but actual like a uh, dish, dish rag or dish cloth. Um, I wouldn't use it for that. And next to it, they had Universal Yarns Clean Cotton. They had some like stonewashed looked ones, and then they had the solid colors. And they do let you know what the best sellers are, too. Like, hey, this is a best seller. And I think they put that by the color that's the best seller. I should have asked the lady that was back there kind of keeping an eye on the uh, yarn and f uh, fabric section. It is 100% reclaimed fibers. It's 85% recycled cotton, recyc 80 and 15% recycled polyester. And those were really soft. It did say that you could um, put it in the dryer and I do believe it's also machine washable too. Sangrio, I think that's how you say that. I don't know. It's a pretty color green. I tried to leave the information up on the, my uh, screen long enough so you guys can read it. Now, there was a big difference in the yardage. That was 131 yards, I do believe, or 115. And these ones were less than that. These only had 95, 96 yards in it for the stonewashed ones. That's what I'm calling them because that's what they look like to me. They're not variegated because they don't really change the color. They just look kind of washed. And then they had the crazy, crazy yarn, which no two uh, are alike. There's a two-ply, I think, sport. Yeah, it's a two-ply sport. Fine, 100% fine wool, hand wash, do not agitate. Stonehenge fibers. Oh, fiber mill. Stonehenge fiber mill. Those were in that basket. And then they also had, you know, with it worked up, like a lot of other places, they show you what it can look like worked up. I want to say that that was actually crocheted partially crocheted and maybe partially knitted but I could be wrong it's probably all knitted it just looked like some of it was crocheted and then this one was the other one here Astro Fiber Company and this was a uh the British Blue oh what is oh my gosh I know this the BFL stands for something and I cannot remember it's a specific type of sheep a blue um, I'm going to have to look that back up again. All right. Well, that's it for today's video. That was all about the uh, uh, cotton blended yarns. Come back tomorrow to see the rest of the DK weight up to worsted weight yarns. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe so you're always aware of when new content is being put out all right well and, and if you haven't already i am doing a giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers it does end on saturday i will be doing the drawing sometime after 12 o'clock p.m my time which is eastern so make sure you've got your comments in by then to be entered into the drawing that is only available for the U.S. and Canada at this time. I do apologize for all, anybody from the U.K. Maybe on my next giveaway, you will be able to be included in that. But we will see as things go. All right. I will put that in the link, uh, in the description link below, as well as yesterday's video. So if you didn't get to see that video, I will link that as well, as well as the New River Art and Fiber link. So you can check out their website. They do offer online ordering. Let me see. And you can see what else they have to offer as well as besides the yarn, because they do have a whole nother section that's not yarn or 
uh, fabric related. All right. Well, I hope you, again you all enjoyed today's video. And until next time, I hope you all stay safe and stay crafty. Bye-bye. Mm,